in my life. I do. Shit. Yeah. 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 Back and I'm better than ever. Whoa. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They and I tell them. What's going on, y'all? So I've been wanting to do series more of like a week in my life, just something a little bit more long form. And let me take these out so I can hear myself. Jesus. Hopefully it's not picking up this fucking vibration. They're like repaving the street next door or like literally right outside my house. The last 45 minutes, there's just been like this like vibrating my whole house. But anyway, I want to do more of these week in my life one for kind of recap purposes two just to take you along show a little bit more in depth of what i'm up to on the you know week to week some days are more exciting than others when people break them down to like a day in the life not all of these things are happening in one day so i feel like something a little bit more realistic would be a week in my life i'm hoping to do more of these one you have to be more intentional with filming which is a lot as I I am on, you know, photo shoots and video shoots. So then to already film either like before going to the shoot or maybe some BTS intentionally filming after the shoot or the day-to-day -day life, it's a lot to juggle for me. It's just a lot when I'm not working, I really don't wanna be filming even more stuff. I don't know, I'm trying to find that balance. On one hand, I do wanna film myself more and I do enjoy it and it's fun editing. For so once, it's like I'm always shooting stuff for business or other people or documenting their life. It's like, why not try to document my own life? I feel like I'll get in a routine and then I'll be easier for me. I'll just kind of get in a flow. Did film a lot this week. I was intentional, whether it was just like little things around the house, like making the bed, uh, working in the garage, running, film, 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 and then edit it later. This has been a pretty busy week. For we have a big unboxing today. This is what $800 in film looks like. Ultra 400, Ultra 400, and 120, Kodak Gold 200. A couple rolls of Kodak Color Plus 200. I have yet to shoot this film actually. Ektar 100. Flick Films Aurora, really solid 800 speed film, but Ilford I guess made a Info Color 400 Plus. Hat Labs X Film 320 Pro. Black and white film off, Triax Kodak, black and white. So, six rolls of that. They call me, I seen them. Yeah. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I get let up. They ain't not tired of me never. Yeah. Give me a shot and I oof. That's why I shoot like Boretta's. That's how I shoot. Lately, I'm driven like I'm on a boat. They in my lane, I got told on the move. Now that I'm popping, got too much to lose. Look at the numbers, got nothing to prove. I'm in the city, just me and my crew. Told me I'm sick and I know that it's true, but I'm still gonna boss like I got a flu. Yeah, run it up, I told them that I'm coming back. So let me get all of that. Time is now, I'm coming around to get a check. Said I need my taxes back. Over time, I'm getting mine to so get in line. And it's with no respect. That I told them all I'm about to ball, yeah. getting chips. Feeling like Kobe Shaq. Flag at the top of this fucking mountain. Holy shit. That is cool. Yeah, there's the dry lake bed. Oh yeah. It's cool those over there. Yeah. And look at this like little rock thing. It's like a wind block. This new little end stand, funky. It's also my favorite color green, which you'll find out soon enough. I've been obsessed over 
a, a dark green lately. Most of my room, because the floor and the pieces of furniture, it has a lot of brown. So I wanted to get something with a little pop of color to kind of spice things up. But I also didn't want to get anything too out of the normal for me. I wasn't going to get like an orange or like a pink. So the green still works with the brown, the warm tones. Um, and it's still my the side of that came in today. And now we are going to get to cleaning. Also, before I get to cleaning, I'm going to get to cleaning, I promise. I do not have ADHD. But another thing I got in today I want to show off is this. So, got this package in. The other day, my wife went out with her friends. So I was just at the house chilling. I wasn't trying to do any work. I was trying to actually give myself, you know, a break, a reset. And I don't really watch TV. I also don't really know how to just chill as a normal human. I somehow still find myself getting caught up and either working in some capacity or sitting down here in the office thinking I'm gonna work. I'll either do work or I'll get caught up watching YouTube. Uh, as far as like chilling on the couch, uh, I don't know how to do that unless it's with my wife. And even then I'm super antsy. I always have to be getting something or doing something. So anywho, the other night it dawned on me that I have Sega Genesis, N64 and Super Nintendo. Also, that's weird. Who does that? Busted out those, started playing Sega Genesis. I uh, started playing Sonic to Retro City the other day to find 007's GoldenEye for N64. It is a classic and I don't have that. So I had to go online. I ordered a few games off GameStop. I ended up ordering four games in total because there was like a, if you spend over $75, it's free shipping. So they get you of course, because the shipping was only $6, but Anyway, let's get to the point here. Classics, dude. All right, let me bust these out of the bag. Got Paperboy for Super Nintendo. Paperboy 2. Rampage for N64. And Mortal Kombat 3 for Sega Genesis. I have Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 for Sega. Had to get the 3. I'm still waiting on Goldeneye. It's supposed to come in two days. I was hoping it was in this order, but it wasn't. I freaked out for a second. I thought they gypped me. It's coming on Friday. Hopefully I'll find the time to sit down and play these video games. Um. One I choose to film is literally a salad that's pre-made and chicken tendies, but it's time to watch Dun -dun -dun. our show. We're gonna watch that. We're gonna eat right there.
back Girls in the place with the pretty face See the bitty waist and the fat cake Let me get a taste here, we need to get the bottles out the case Shorty got a body like she caught a case Out of this world, give us some space Boss, better let you set the pace I wanna get in, you look like a safe Straight from the middle, it's look like a rocket Give me a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a rocket Feeling like Rocky, fit in my pockets Bipolar man, humble and cocky They try to copy, give me the money I need my greens like it's broccoli I ain't trying to board on the budget Man, I got drip like a hole in the bucket Pull up with a coupe, they wish they were driving I'm just trying to get myself to the top Seeing myself getting top in the parking lot Then I lay in the drop top Get that money like chop chop Got your uh, My AirPods died midway through So that sucks, it's hella annoying I had to go speaker mode To get us through this workout I had to go with Sage Francis Still sickly business <sighs> It was a good one today Nothing too crazy Probably my form and technicality on everything I do is probably wrong, but fuck it. I go pretty lightweight for, for myself and I don't try to go anything too crazy knowing that I don't have the best form or the most knowledge. The main thing for me is just moving my body, getting a little bit of weight on my hands, just getting to it. It's kind of like the most important thing for me right now is building that habit. Gonna shower up real quick, get out of here. Some mullet, this, I don't even know what it is anymore. We're gonna stop by Allie's private studio. She's gonna dial in the hair. We're gonna catch up with her since it's been a few weeks. I'm gonna swing by Ivana's work to pick up something for the house and then hopefully swing by Photo Shack to drop off some film. Uh, hopefully this audio isn't absolutely dog ass. I do not have a shotgun mic on right now because the battery's dead and my life is currently a mess, so I, I didn't charge it. So we're rocking the, the camera audio, which hopefully is not asshole. And if it is, oh well, lesson learned. Hopefully crank out some more work. I still have a few photo galleries to send off to some clients, some invoices to send off. Like, are we gonna like do anything or we're just gonna fade the sides? Well, I feel like, yeah, we can clean up the sides and like I'm down to do it. like air dries, it's like, okay. There, no, yeah. this is the vibe. Because it's either this. I spent some time in Chicago and saw how Paul has been doing in the city and he did great. Did he? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how funny is that? Alright, uh, just. Oh, you're probably really. So, just got done with Allie. She spruced up the mullet spruced up the hair always good to see her and catch up with her swung by the wife's work to pick up this walking pad this treadmill there is some service electricians outside her work which is funny because the company gsl electric which if you know me was actually the electrical company that i used to work for here in town about four years ago so pull up to her work her school and see GSL electric vans out front uh, was kind of funny to me, kind of full circle in a sense that, you know, running into uh, the two guys that I saw in there, I didn't recognize from when I worked there. I was hoping to, I thought that would have been a, a funny moment to run into some familiar faces. But uh, like I said, it's been like four years since I've worked for the company. And these are also service guys, so it was different than the commercial side that I worked on. We're gonna head home now, hopefully swing by Photoshop, drop off some goodies for them to develop, and head back home, wait for Ivana to get off work, cook dinner. In the meantime, I'll hopefully catch up on some more edits and start to put together this vlog this week in the life. I tried to... Try to save up a bunch. Okay. All right. The blocking light came out really good. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh? Two Thank you. Ooh. Film order that just came in. Film fridge is getting a little low, so we're gonna restock it. Kodak Ultramax. Got a Pilsner from one of my German couples. Gifted me a couple bottles. Beer from their side of the world, which is always cool. Portra 4 in 120. Ektar in 35. It's been a few years since I've shot some Ektar, but Ektar is 
phenomenal. Couple rolls of Kodak Color Plus. I haven't shot yet. So we finally made it in the studio here. Knucklehead over here booked the studio for Thursday, September 5th. And it is not Thursday, September 5th. It's Thursday, August, whatever. I didn't catch it either until we got here. Got it figured out. Mike, who is on Pure Space, let us book it since we were here and luckily it was available, so all good. Mike is testing some headshots for a gig he has coming up. Figured let's just get a studio, we'll f around for a little bit and test some lighting and then also shoot some content. Maybe even do some stuff for the pod, but more on that later. Yeah, because like this shadow on your. Could just be work. Could just 